There are fundamental flaws in the way we, uh, we regulate and implement the regulation of the financial system. In this system, we got a more pronounced interconnectedness and more pronounced fragility of the system, where each uh, institution was highly indebted, and then they were linked together in numerous links. So through various contagion mechanisms, the entire global system came to like a near implosion, and everybody panicked in all markets. Banks can somehow and are happy to live on 95% of their funding coming from debt. Here you have it, a system built on debt uh, that uh, in the center of which is heavy borrowers and distorted lenders. It ends up in the bottom line looking like a speeding truck where, you know, the driver can, can get out before it explodes and so the driver doesn't bear consequences. But there's a collateral damage from the explosion and other people get harmed who did not benefit from the high speed. So that's the kind of analogy of, of sort of, you know, polluting a river because you're subsidized to do so. Uh, when you have a clean alternative. That's the kind of system that we have. And somehow, there's just a lot of narratives around it that are just very confusing to maybe people who don't understand the economics of it. And so the system doesn't get changed. And we have very weak and ineffective regulation that are not getting the system to sort of be behave normally. When you had an internet bubble burst, you didn't see the whole world collapse from that, and there was more paper loss than there was in, in the housing correction in the U.S. And yet, because there was so much debt in this system, um, it created so much harm. When it gets to be the way it is, it's very inefficient and it distorts the entire economy. We have to wonder about the dynamics that led to that and whether we've actually removed uh, those kinds of uh, forces from the system.